This is about recreating the magic at Fortnum's. This is a timeless cookbook, a cookbook to use and love and adore. My name is Dr Andrea Tanner. I'm the company archivist at Fortnum & Mason, which I think is the best job in the store. I've looked after the archive for longer than I care to admit, and it is a wonderful role in that I find something new about our past and something surprising practically every single day. Fortnum's history is a history of newness, which is rather an oxymoron, I suppose, but we've always been innovators, and I think that's why we have survived for 309 years and are stronger today and more exciting today than I think we've ever been. It was a true joy to write the Fortnum Mason cookbook, not only because I've known this store for, gosh, I'm getting old now, so, 30, 35 years, I came here with my grandmother and it was this huge treat to come here at Christmas. The Christmas window full of the sort of shiny baubles, the smell of the store, the men, women, all wearing that very traditional stuff. It was like a magical world. And as I talk about in the book, it was like coming to Narnia. It was something quite spectacular. And that's the thing about Fortnum's. It is a store quite unlike any other on earth. This is a place that well, it built empire, and it fed kings, and it fed queens. But what it's always done over the years is evolve. It's kept its contemporary edge. And to go into this cookbook, and not only to go into the archives with the great Dr. Tanner, who, you know, when else, what other store has her own in-store archivist with all these amazing illustrations, and letters, and signatures, and uh, contemporary accounts, and the rest of it. The great joy of the archive are really the illustrations in our catalogues. From the 1920s onwards, Fortnum's engaged some of the most exciting illustrators and artists and designers of the time. Everybody from Marion Dorn and McKnight Kaufer to Rex Whistler, Edward Bowden and Eric Revilius. They are witty, they are amusing, they're beautiful to look at and I think that they add immeasurably to the text of the book. I think the whole point of the Fortnum and Mason put because something we were very keen in getting right was this wasn't just some old-fashioned testament to the past looking at great old dishes stuck back in the 18th 19th century of course they're the classic dishes the scotch egg uh, steak and kidney pies all these things for which Fortnum and Mason are justifiably famous but also as a contemporary feel as well this is not just an archive um, it is something a cookbook that you can use again and again. It's a cookbook for everybody. This is Fortnum's first cookery book in 309 years and it's been wonderful being part of the process. It's been a great joy to work with Tom. We delved into the archive together many times to try and find recipes from the 18th, 19th, 20th and 21st centuries. I think the book represents the very best of Fortnum's. Included in it are things that we sold in the 18th century. We've recreated recipes that Dickens would have known. And it's been just a wonderful experience using our past to create something wonderful in the present that I hope will be of use to the generations to come.